So air sealing is a critical part of this assembly in that um, it's usually overlooked in, in wall assemblies, floors, or, or attics. Um, you, can insula you can have a lot of insulation, but if you have air leaks with that insulation, the insulation value just plummets because air move insulation does not stop air movement. So air moves through the insulation and heat and cold moves through the wall assemblies and you lose heat or gain cold. So we're gonna start air sealing here. So this pipe up here represents, it's half scale too, a typical piece of plumbing pipe running up through the top plate of the wall. Remember there's an attic up there or a roof. So ordinarily a plumber would just drill a hole, put the pipe in, you're done, you walk away. Um, if you seal around this, then it means air cannot escape um, up into the attic. Heat through the wall would be lost up through the attic. Um, this foam stops that. Now moving down, uh, down the wall assembly here. Uh, same, each, each one of these holes is typically an electrician would drill a hole through a stud, a uh, large hole, small uh, wire, and you would get air being able to move from this cavity to this cavity to this cavity. And very often when you test um, homes with uh, different test equipment, you see that every outlet leaks air like crazy because air goes from here to here to here and out. So you're heating a house, hot air comes through here, up here, eventually works its way up there. A few small holes don't matter, but in a house there's hundreds if not thousands of holes and connections that can leak. So it leads to the inability to control the, the air, um, basically, in, that's moving in and out of the walls. And lastly, I'll move down below again. This, um, remember now, below this uh, signifies your, your crawl space. So if you drill, same as the top, you drill a plumbing hole through here, wires through here, and you now have uh, conduits for air movement to go from your first floor, bottom, right down to the attic, and air can move a lot in and out of there. Okay, so the last thing uh, I'm gonna demonstrate here is uh, the air sealing of the bottom plate, which is important because uh, air can come in from the outside of the building, underneath the plate, and it, it will and it does and get into the room um, as um, cold or hot air. So typically, when you were gonna build this wall, before this bottom plate went down, you would lay a bead of foam. Uh, it can be foam tape, it could be caulk, or it could be foam. I prefer using this, uh, it's a foam gun. And it's, it's pretty cool, because, I oh, hope this doesn't explode. It's pretty cool, because um, you can just keep refilling this and reusing this gun where traditionally you use those little cans and you keep throwing them away. This means you could use the gun over and over again. So I use this a lot, I like it. And I use that for filling these holes and for pretty much most of my foam sealing. So this leak between the sill plate and the foundation is very important because typically it's near ground level, which means you have your plants and shrubbery growing outside and air that leaks in will bring in chemicals that might have been sprayed on your roses. They're coming in right at the level of your kids who are crawling around on the carpet, or your pets that are down there. Maybe not that noticeable to adults, but uh, certainly for those that we, we love or that are down that low. And typically when you look around a house and look at the carpet on the inside of the wall, you will see a stain there, that that carpet has been acting as a filter that's been filtering dust and other debris that's been coming in, leaking in through the building for as long as it's been there. So both when we go back and retrofit existing homes and when we build new homes, we want to make sure to head that off and seal it properly. Okay, so um, we'll move along on the wall assembly here. We've air sealed the holes going through the attic, through the crawl space, from cavity to cavity, and we've sealed the bottom plate where it hits the, uh, the subfloor. So with that, we just know that this section at least is air is not going to move through it.